using a Stayfix fault finder. When using the Stayfix fault finder, always start at the beginning of the fence. If you have a multiple wire electric fence, measure all wires individually. At that point, the fault finder will tell you the condition of your fence and how much current is flowing. If your fence is in good condition, you will show zero current flowing on your fence. That means that your fence is fully insulated and has no faults. The Stayfix fault finder is a convenient tool which allows you to not only switch your fence on and off, but also locates faults quickly and easily. When using the fault finder, it not only gives you a voltage reading, but it also gives you an amperage reading all in the same screen. Simply place the fault finder on the fence at the beginning of your fence line and it will tell you what's happening on your entire fence. On this fence we have 20 amps of current and we have 3000 volts, meaning we have a fault in the direction of the arrow from this point. Over here we have a simulated fault and if we move to the other side of our simulated fault you'll see that that current flow immediately drops to 4 amps and our voltage remains at around about 3000 volts which means we've lost 16 amps on our simulated fault. Therefore the 4 amps is showing us that there's still another fault further up the fence line but we would concentrate on the 16 amps first before moving further on. The Stayfix Remote Fault Finder not only allows you to quickly locate your faults, it also allows you to turn the fence off at that point, fix the fault and then turn the fence back on again. Take a reading on all the wires at the start of the fence line. If the amps are zero, then your fence is in tip-top condition. If not, then you will likely have a fault on the fence line somewhere. Take a reading at regular intervals, watching for a drop in the current reading. This will guide you to the fence fault. 